Matthew, the holy evangelist, nailed to the ground and beheaded at Nadavar under the king Hytekas, about A.D. 70. Matthew, also called Levi, the son of Alphaeus, was a publican in Capernaum. The publicans were detested by the Jews because the latter did not consider themselves justly bound to pay toll or tribute to any foreign prince. As touching the condition of publicans at that time, it was such that they generally exacted more from the people than was just, on which account they were shunned by the pious, so that open sinners who were separated from the church were compared to publicans. When Matthew or Levi was still unconverted and made his living in this unjust business, Christ met him with his grace and commanded him to follow him as a disciple. Obeying through an inward impulse, he forsook the custom house, and having prepared a great feast for the occasion of taking leave of his companions, he invited his fellow publicans, and also the Lord Jesus, apparently for an adieu, that they might find opportunity to become converted through the discourse of the Lord Jesus. After this, Matthew immediately forsook all and zealously followed his Lord, who had called him, and who, after he had more fully instructed him, placed him among the apostles, which office he too exercised among the Jews, till the death of Christ. Afterwards, when he was sent out to teach among the heathen, Ethiopia fell to his lot. But before he left Judea, he, through the illumination of the Holy Spirit, wrote his gospel in the Hebrew language and left it to them. In Ethiopia he accomplished much with teaching as well as with miracles, and there he also left unto posterity after his death his written gospel, from which it can easily be seen what faith he maintained, namely the faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that he became a real man through the power of the Holy Ghost in his mother Mary. History states that immediately after the death of King Aglipus, who was attached to the Christians, his successor, Hytacus, an unbelieving heathen, persecuted this apostle, and that at a certain time, when this pious apostle of Christ was teaching the church of God, he caused him to be apprehended, and, as some write, nailed to the ground and beheaded in Nadavar, the capital of Ethiopia, where he is also buried. According to Venantius Fortunatus, who wrote over a thousand years ago, For the great city Nadavar shall restore to us at the last day the eminent apostle Matthew.